Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Kahila Orke, crochet designer, knitter, and author. You can check out links down below for my books. And today, it's actually nighttime, and I literally just finished crocheting this sweater. The pattern should be out by now, so I will link it down below for you guys if you want to check it out. It's nice little belly sleeves. I have pictures on my Instagram if you want to check it out more. But yeah, I am just hopping right into the next project because it's going to be short and sweet and I just want to have another chill vlog for you guys because why not? I want to document as many projects as possible for myself just to see my journey and then for you guys because I mean I love seeing videos like this so I'm going to assume you guys do as well. Alright so I have never created a scarf before. I tried to start a knit scarf and then I just stopped. <laughs> Like, I literally have no explanation for why I stopped. I mean, kind of. I, okay, I do. I just didn't want to continue it. Just because I had so many other projects and it was just like, I'm not going to have time for that. And yeah, so I have never crocheted a scarf. And I was just like, you know what? Let me create a crochet scarf pattern. Why not? So like, I want to have like you know ribbing on a sweater you know like on a regular sweater that I usually do I don't know how to let me see like you know like normal ribbing like that you know I want to do something like that except like have it flat and then I work up the scarf in like I don't want double crochet or half double crochet excuse me I probably do half double crochet because the yarn I'm using is chunky. I'll show you guys in just a bit. So I'll work it up in half double crochet, do the ribbing like single crochet, and then like have ribbing, work it up, and then have the other end be ribbing as well. Yeah. I feel like that'll be, I feel like that'll be pretty cool. You know, it seems weird in my head, but as I work it up, it probably won't look weird. But I just want to do a little chunky scarf, so... Here's the yarn I'm working with. I'm working with Wool Power Big 100% Pure Wool. This yarn right here, it's from Hobie and it's this beautiful blue color. And I got like 15 balls because I wasn't sure how much I would need for a scarf. I've never done a scarf before so I like to get more yarn than I need or I assume that's more yarn than what I need, you know? So it is 82 yards, 100 grams and 100% wool like I said and for knitting needles you can use 8 millimeter needles and for crochet hooks you can use a 9 millimeter so I don't think I need to tell you guys anything else the pattern will be down below for you guys so yeah let's get it and see how this goes okay this is like an experiment because I haven't done this before I'm literally creating as I go which is the same as what I did with this sweater I didn't know what I was doing I just had an idea of what I wanted to do and then I just did it so yeah let's get it all right guys a little update before i go to bed i just wanted to first of all i changed out of my sweater i'm gonna be wearing it tomorrow so anyway this is what it's looking like so far so now you guys can see what i'm talking about when sorry if the fan is too loud also but this is what you guys can see what i'm talking about when i said i wanted like ribbing and then like the you know the, the scarf and then the ribbing on the other side so I did ribbing for it and now I'm doing half double crochet. This is going to be the scarf part. It's going to be however long and it's going to be, I'm going to make it long enough to like be able to wrap around like my neck twice or something and just have these, the two ends like down here. I don't know. I don't know. We'll just see. I just want to make it long, you know, so I have enough yarn for that. And yeah, I'm going to write a pattern. It's going to be nice and simple. It's going to be fun. So hopefully I can get most of it done tomorrow because I'm about to go to bed. So tomorrow. I have a lot to do tomorrow, but we shall, we shall see. We shall get this done. Okay. Yeah. All right. See you tomorrow.
All right, guys, so I have this much done so far. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I need it to be long enough to wrap around my neck and then hang down at least like to my midriff. So right now it just goes to right there. So yeah, let's keep going. Oh, also I am on row 92 right now. I don't even know how to put on scarves, honestly. But I do know I want these two to be like, like I said, down lower, so. This is very warm, mm, oh my gosh. I go on morning walks, so like wearing it like this would be amazing. I don't even have to make a towel. Mm -mm. I like this, all right, let's. Keep going, I'm on row 116 right now. I'm excited. Guys, <laughs> this looks so good. Okay, wait. First of all, I need to like un unattach. I need to chop this yarn real quick. Let me get my scissors. I thought I was going to add more rows to it, so I didn't chop it yet, but this is making me realize that this is, this is great. Oh my gosh. Let me weave in this in real quick. All right. <laughs> I am officially done. Let me show you guys how long. I mean, it's not that long. I mean, I don't know. Anyway, this is how long it is. Hold on, let me get on my chair real quick. So as you can see, this is my torso. And it reaches almost to, well, this is my belly button right here. So it reaches my belly button. And as you can see, one side has ribbing, the other side doesn't. I did that on purpose, okay? I'm gonna call this the uneven chunky scarf because, let me be honest, I did not feel like figuring out, like I know how to add ribbing to this side, but I didn't want, I, don't, I didn't care to figure out like how to cinch it to match up with this, because as you can see, it doesn't match up and I was just gonna, mm, I'm not doing that. And then as I continued, I was like, you know what? I can just leave it like this and call it the uneven chunky scarf. So yeah, I am done. This took me a day, <laughs> literally a day. It's 150 rows of chunky yarn and I used four balls. I'm pretty sure, let me see. I wrote a pattern for it. So you guys should see that pattern down below. I haven't typed it up yet in my little template, but of course, since you guys are seeing this, 
it will be there for you guys. So yeah, I used four balls. And dude, I don't even want to take this scarf off. I've never made a scarf before. This is so awesome. <laughs> okay, so now I have a scarf, you know, just have it like that. I can make it a little tighter, you know, make it a little cow. You know, this is, this is so cool. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I can wear this to my morning walks now. Oh, because it's usually like 50 degrees, 49 degrees, 50 degrees in the mornings when we walk. I walk with my sisters and my mom. So this will be like so perfect because it's always, my neck is always freezing. Oh, I cannot stop staring at this. This, this is so perfect. Oh my gosh. Anyway, that's going to be it for this little this is probably a short video, but I just wanted to document myself crocheting a scarf because I haven't done it before. And yeah, this is the perfect time to crochet a chunky scarf for winter. It's super easy and there are probably like a bajillion scarf patterns out there, but scarf, scarf, whatever patterns out there. But I was just like, you know what, let me do my own. So it's available on copydolls.com. Um, boom, boom. Okay, let me stop. I just need to. Alright, anyway, thank you guys for chilling with me. I love it so much. Be sure to give this video a big thumbs up and don't forget to hit that subscribe button and click that notification bell because it will notify you whenever I post another video. And I'll see you guys in my next video.